for us on Phenomics. Um, the big highlight has obviously been the September the 14th deadline for PSD2. So um, our product is delivering an open banking um, account aggregation service. So uh, the deadline for the banks to be ready on the September the 14th was huge. Um, it now means we can really kick on um, in terms of delivering our product. Uh, obviously, the, in terms of the wider industry and us being based in the Nordics, there's been a few um, other moves which have interested us. So uh, we look at, for example, the P27, which launched this year um, across the Nordics, um, which from a payments perspective is extremely exciting. Um, and then on a more local level, um, Mastercard's acquisition, acquisition of Nets. Um, again, it's a very interesting play by Mastercard and something that we're keeping a close eye on. Well, it's still very early for Neonomics. Um, as I said, the September the 14th deadline was when the banks really needed to be ready. Um, we had actually started working with some partners ahead of the deadline. Um, and for us, we've already partnered with a Norwegian bank um, and a housing rental company in, in Norway. And we've already delivered um, a streamlined rental deposit process where consumers can identify themselves um, ahead of renting an apartment. They can go and select the apartment they want to rent and then they can uh, go and make the rental deposit directly into uh, a Norwegian bank account. Um, the APIs we used were actually open, up, open banking APIs for that Norwegian bank. Um, and so for, at, for us, that was a real use case that we got into the market ahead of the September the 14th deadline, which was uh, a very big milestone for us. Um, but since then, we've obviously been working with banks to expand our proposition. Uh, so we're showcasing our account aggregation and payment platform. So we have a license from the Norwegian FSA uh, to uh, both aggregate account information for consumers, but then also initiate payments on their behalf. So. Um, we're looking at partnering with banks, fintechs, um, large corporates to both uh, enable the aggregation of consumer information but then also a triggering of payments which as a business we believe uh, is the direction that PST2 is going. It's uh, part of it and a lot of the focus to, to date has been on actually account aggregation but we believe the bigger opportunity is with account to account payments and triggering direct payments um, between users accounts, but then also between users and companies as well. Um, well, one example uh, is the, the deposit rental account, which I uh, discussed before. So with that, we work with an identity provider to ensure that users could be identified up front. We then work with a, uh, a big rental company in Norway um, who list uh, direct uh, rental listings on their website um, so consumers can go and identify themselves up front. They're authenticated, the landlord is also, also authenticated. Um, then the consumers can select the house they would like to rent uh, and then they can make a deposit for that house um, instantaneously. So it's a streamlined process. Um, it doesn't require any visits to bank branches, uh, it doesn't require any paper signing of documents um, and that's one product we're quite excited about and we've already started looking at how we can deliver that outside of Norway. Um, so we're already working with partners in Sweden um, and Denmark to, um, to understand how we can deliver that. Uh, the big trend for us is uh, PSD2, that's what we're focused on. Um, I think embedding that is probably not so much a trend, but something we hope will happen through 2020. So we have uh, obviously started working with banks. We've integrated with the APIs of the banks, but what we're finding is uh, some are at different stages than others. And there's ones where they're very much ahead of the, ahead of the curve and we're absolutely uh, excited to be working with those banks. Um, but then some of the others are a little bit further behind. Um, so for us, we, obviously want to make sure the regulators are pushing on the banks to ensure the APIs are up to scratch, but also that um, from a corporate side, um, both consumers and also corporates understand the benefits that PSD2 can bring. Um, so, and then secondly, I think the big trend for us is moving to account-to-account -to -account payments. So 
if we look at the direction that MasterCard are taking, for example, with the acquisition of Vocalink um, and also Nets, they're absolutely seeing the opportunity for direct account to account payments. Um, and we, from a uh, PSD2 aggregator perspective, want to be at the forefront of that.